Hey there, Python trainer Ruven Lerner here, and today I want to stop you from making a big mistake. I want to stop you from using in place equals true in pandas. What do I mean by that? Why is it a big deal? Let me explain. So first of all, I'm going to load up NumPy and pandas and so on and so forth. And then I'm going to load up one of my favorite data sets, the taxi data from New York City from I think it was 2016 or something. Right, so I load up a whole bunch of different columns in here. It's a CSV file. There are 10,000 taxi rides here. That's actually not the important thing. And so basically, let's say I want to set the uh, index of my data frame to be tpep pickup date time. Okay, so I can say df set index to be tpep pickup date time. What does that do? That returns a new data frame. It returns a new data frame and does not repeat, does not modify the original data frame at all. And a lot of people look at this and like, really? Really? How incredibly annoying. I really wish that I could just change my data frame because after all, I'm getting a new data frame back. That means I'm doubling the memory that's involved. I've got the old one, I've got the new one. And if I really want to change it, then I have to say df equals. And who wants to do that? So instead, I'm going to add the keyword argument in place equals true. Now, what happens when you use in place equals true? Two things definitely do happen. Number one is we modify the original data frame. Number two is we get none back. So don't do this. Don't do df equals set index with in place equals true. That would be a really, really bad idea. And if I do this, I get none back. So nothing's visible. And now I say df head. And look at that. tpep pickup daytime is indeed my index. So this seems great. I'm saving memory, right? Wrong. That is where you are wrong. You are not actually saving memory. How do I know this? Because the pandas core developers have told us this. They have said that when you use in place equals true, it might feel like you are using less memory because you don't see two data frames. You don't, you don't see two data frames at the same time. But inside, internally, actually, yeah, it's probably creating another data frame and assigning things back. So in place equals true, you are not actually saving memory. You're not actually making things more efficient. And here's the other thing. You can't then chain your method calls. What we often like to do in pandas is do something. And then from that something, we get a new something. And then we apply a new method to it. And then from that thing and that thing and that thing. And so what I can do is, for example, I'm going to reload my data here. So what I can do is say here, for example, read CSV. I'm actually going to do here parse dates equals tpep pickup date time just so that it's set to be that. So now I have what basically looks like the same thing as before, just my pickup date time is actually a date time uh, column. So now what I can do is I can say df set index to be tpep pickup date time, and that's going to return a new data frame, right? That's great because now what I can do is I can say dot lock of 2015-0602-1119, and I just pull those out meaning I haven't had to modify my data frame. I was able to do this in one fell swoop. So if I had done set index uh, uh, um, uh, in place equals true, then I would not have been able to apply this method because that method would have been applied to none and none does not have any methods. So in this way, I'm able to sort of be more flexible and the index is not actually set permanently. If I come back here and say df head, sure enough, tpep pickup date time is just, just like that. I can also do all sorts of other things. So what other methods also support this? Well, I can say here, df drop, and I can say, here, let's drop, oh, I don't know, let's do trip distance and pick up longitude just for two of them. And that's going to, oh, what did I do here? Trip distance and, pick, oh, right. I have to say here, axis equals columns. Forgot that. There we go. And now what have I gotten? A new data frame back without those two columns. Right? So again, if I had done drop in place equals true, that's it. I would have modified my data frame. But in this way, I can tune which things I want to uh, get rid of, just do that temporarily for while I'm running the current query. And then my DF magically goes back to what it was before. There are a whole bunch of places, as I said, where you can use in place equals true. Let me show you one more, where if I say, let's just do a series here, series of 10, 20, 30, and p nan, 50, 60, and p nan, 70, 80. Right, so now I've got my series. If I say s drop na, 
What's going to happen? I get back a new series without the NANDs in it. It keeps the old index, 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, 7, 8, right? So there are two things missing in theory, 3 and 6. So I get the non-NAND values. But have I actually changed my series? The answer is no. But if I were to say S drop NA in place equals true, well, that is actually going to change it. Now, again, what's the big deal? Well, again, if I say S drop NA without in place equals true, then I can say, well, give me the mean. So I get the mean value, but I haven't actually changed my series. By contrast, if I say S drop NA in place equals true dot mean, that's going to give me an error because once again, none has no attribute mean. This is true for drop NA, it's true for fill NA, it's true for a whole bunch of different methods. So bottom line, don't use in place equals true, both because it reduces your flexibility and because it does not make things more efficient and because the core, uh, core Pandas developers have told us it is going away. Pandas 2.0 is out. It has not been deprecated officially, so you're not going to get warnings about it, but you should truly still get rid of it wherever you can. Just use chaining and just, if you really need to, assign back to the same variable because you're not losing any speed or memory in any event. I hope this has stopped you from using in place equals true. Let me know what pandas questions and comments or Python questions and comments you have, and I will gladly address them here. Look forward to seeing you. Lots more videos coming on this channel. Don't forget to subscribe. See you again soon.